Hello guys and welcome to this new video review of the latest Lollipop firmware for the Zenfone 5. Now this, with this version, the version number has been updated to .78 and ASUS will probably release a .80 version which will be easier to upgrade to. But if you want to upgrade to this version of Lollipop 7.8, the instructions will be down in the link below. Okay, you can of course head there and there will be instructions for upgrading from KitKat, from Lollipop or even from a custom ROM. So it's very easy and all the details will be down in the description below. Now coming back to the ROM, the ROM has been significantly improved. The battery drain is completely gone. You do not need to install exposed right now and you know, install the memory leak fix module and stuff like that. It will just work without all of that. The deep sleep works very nice. The battery life has been improved by quite a lot. As you can see, if I head into the pie chart, is deep sleeping for 98.9% of the time since I do not use this phone as an active device. But I have been using this phone as an active device for the past few days and it has been giving me a pretty consistent battery life. The only disadvantage that I saw was that, that if I kept the GPS open, it would significantly keep the phone awake and draw drain battery. The other thing that didn't work you know, as planned was that if you go into the power saver mode, and if you keep it to power saving, the phone was completely awake all the time and the battery drain was huge. So I would recommend you to not use power saving mode. So either use super saving or use the normal mode and you will be fine and there will be no battery drain. The smart switch is an additional feature where you can switch to the super saving mode either by the change in the battery percentage or in a certain time. So say if you're sleeping at night, you can just say that go into super saver mode at night so that you do not have battery drain at all. So super saver, what it does is that it keeps your phone messages and alarm awake and disables all other network switches, which is a very interesting thing. And it's quite useful to be honest. The next thing is of course the auto start manager. And the thing that you already know is that the Zenfone 5 now have the themes capability where you can download certain themes and apply it to the launcher, the icon set, and even onto the overall UI, which is pretty cool. The next thing that you might have noticed in this new ROM, if you have already upgraded, is that you get to install custom fonts. Sorry, you get to use custom fonts. So you need to go to display and font style, and you can select the three fonts as of now, which is the default, Felbridge, and Sindar. Now this is actually done by using flip font application, which is actually a part of the Samsung TouchWiz interface. But however, this phone is using flip font for installing this custom fonts. And I did not find any way to install new fonts into the flip font system. But as soon as I do, I'll post a new article on that. And you can follow our Facebook page for updates on that. So the next thing that I uh, want to say is that I guess the sound quality has improved a bit, not on the ringtones and alarms, but definitely on the music volume and stuff now as you can see my headphone is connected and that's only because to show you that the music application is that when you used to play a song and it used to you know show up that memory card was inserted bug when you switched off the power button but it doesn't happen anymore as you can see that bug is completely gone which is a very good upgrade it was very annoying and it's good that it's gone so that is gone. There has been certain other improvements to the Zen UI overall. The first that I would like to mention is that if you open up the dialer, you can swipe down to hide the dialer and show up the recent call lists. Now, since I do not have any call list in this phone right now, I cannot show it to you. But if you had the recent calls list and you could just swipe down from the button, you know, the swipe down gesture on the dial pad, to pull it down which is quite a nifty feature and I would definitely recommend you trying it. It's very useful. Okay. Inside the messaging app has been updated, of course, which was also there before in the other Lollipop versions is that you can change the theme and change the contact you know, font sizes and font styles, etc. So the other thing that I would like to say about this ROM is that, of course, if you go into settings and you can just go into display and Okay, so if you can go to screen color mode and you find a new feature which is called the blue light filter. So the blue light filter will definitely change a bit of the tones to the warmer tone. Okay, so it's quite useful to be honest at night basically. So the color tones vary a lot suddenly. So the first time that I installed this 
lollipop rom i found out that the colors were a bit washed out but it did get fixed over time but then you can also use the bluetooth fill the blue light filter from this drop down menu and i don't know if the colors changes are evident in the camera but there is a certain change in the hue and everything just turns yellowish or to the warmer tone so that's pretty much all that is new from this new rom so if you haven't upgraded to lollipop 7.8 or you know the any on lollipop rom right now for zenfone 5 this would be the one you want to upgrade since it is completely bug free right now i did not find any bug as of now except of course the power saving mode which i just mentioned and if you find the power saving mode the power saver app is crashing for you all you can do is head over into the app settings and just clear the data and cache for the power saving app and everything will be back to normal now if you are coming from a custom rom to this rom you will of course want to root it and then you can do some battery calibration just to get a better battery life but if you are upgrading from a kitkat rom or from a you know a previous lollipop rom battery calibration would not be required but if you are coming from a custom rom and a fresh install via adb side load it would be a good idea to get a battery calibration done after rooting so the app, battery calibration app is called the battery calibration bracketed in root so you can download that and hit over to 100% and then hit the root you know calibrate battery which would actually delete the battery stats.bin file which would force the your android to create a new file and calculate everything from the start which will actually calibrate calibrate your battery so thank you guys for watching this video if you want more videos like this on the zenfone 5 please do subscribe and hit the like button below this video and i'll see you guys in the next one